Hello, this is Melvin again, and this time I'm going to talk about creating key performance indicators or short KPIs. As you know, KPIs are a staple of many dashboards and provide a great way to quickly see trends and spot areas that need further analysis. One of the nice features about KPIs in Power View is that it allows you really to just enhance existing measures instead of creating entirely new measures and then a KPI. That saves you a lot of time. I want to demonstrate that here. As always, we start inside the Power View environment. To start, I first can take I first want to look at one of the measures, sales. And as we can see, sales, and if I add a category against it, or actually, let me add a different category. Let's say the location. And I can see you know which location and how many how many how much sales make up that location okay and in this example I want to look at things by the week now we size it here and I can see in this three week example how much sales made up or made up between each location. Well, that doesn't really tell me how well things are going and to do that I'll add a key performance indicator. Since we're looking at sales, I'm going to I'm going to again focus on the sale item and I'm going to go under power pivot and I'm going to select KPIs and I'm going to select new KPI. And again, we're focusing on sales here, so I'm going to select sales as a key, as a KPI base field. And as far as a calculated field, I can specify an absolute value, sorry, to determine how I'm going to measure the sales calculated field. I'm going to specify in this example, since yeah, we're talking about dollars here, let's just say. 40,000 will represent, oh, let's say that's green to be 40,000, and less than 30,000 would be red. Anything between 30 and 40,000 would be yellow. And I select OK. And again, it gives me indication that this change will impact the data model and now when I look on the five banner daily I see the sales measure has changed and now it has three values under it so if I select the value which we already have well actually in this example let me remove that since I'm looking at sales here, it's already selected a value because I'm looking at that already. If I specify the goal, which we indicated would be 40,000, and if I select the status, it shows that in my example I wanted, if it was 40,000, it would be between 30 to 40,000 would be yellow, over 40,000 would be green. I look at a different week, I can see that well everyone's over forty thousand here in this next week. Well nobody's have met even thirty thousand, so their status is red. Now now in this case I actually manually specified the sale goal as forty thousand. Typically we won't do that. We generally will have a goal specified inside our data source because we would want different addresses to have different sales goals. So if I wanted to use a sales goal that was in the database, I will go back to my Power View, Tabs, Manage KPIs, because I want to edit my existing one. And instead of the absolute value, I will select a calculated field and I have weekly goals for each location so I will select that 
and again I'll maintain my same settings here sorry select OK and once again it gives me the prompt that it's changed the model in the background and now I have different sales goals based off different sites they are all not 40,000 in this example none of them have met their sales goals in this case everyone has met their sales goals and again in this case no site has met its sales goals and as you can see there's a different sales goal by different site because I'm using a sales goal that's specified in a data source and not manually added and that's essentially how we create a KPI using manual goals and configured goals. And that concludes this discussion.